All right, we are not resetting our dash. We're not dashboarding do any of that today because we don't need it. And also, I didn't even mention it. While we're doing hot with these packs, maybe I shouldn't mention it. I got the coffee and bagel today. I went to Dunkin' Donuts, got my coffee, got my bagel. We're chilling here. And we also coincidentally have some fire pack luck. I mean, we ain't got Joe Hayden yet, but the least we pulled so far, you know, that's, not, that's some good shit, man. Like, this, this really works. I'm literally about to, you know, Dunkin' Donuts is about to sponsor my goddamn pack openings. They really are. I'm not lying, man. They're about to sponsor my pack openings. We got Ricky Wagner. He can actually be our starting right tackle because um I got Lane Johnson. And actually, Lane Johnson might be better. I don't know. Let's, let's look at that back again. He, I mean, he's faster and better run blocking. Ricky, I don't know. I'll figure that out. But, um... So I'm freaking elite, man. You hear me complaining? <laughs> you know, Roddy White. Again, we got Roddy. Definitely cool with pulling Roddy tw um, twice in the same pack opening spree. Aaron Lynch, do not care. Moving on, Um, Carl Nix. Is Carl Nix on the team? Like, I'm sure Carl, some, Carl Nix might be able to sign on. Probably will be able to sign on. Telvin Smith, this is a solid, you know, um, sleeper guy because he's got really high speed. 89 speed for an outside linebacker. One of the fastest in the game for a 75 overall gold. So, you pull Telvin Smith, you might not want to um, sell him. Um, yeah, sell him right away unless you're trying to get the coins because he might be going for a little bit. And we also got RG3. Oh, I just flew past those two guys. We got two Seahawks and then a little fly pass, including Bruce Irvin. Speaking of fast linebackers, Bruce Irvin, 88 speed. Makes him pretty popular. He's at Anthony Barr level. Sean Lee. I don't know why, but Sean Lee just goes for a lot. I mean, I, he's probably one of the best coverage goal linebackers because he was a middle linebacker. They converted him to outside linebacker since they have Rolanda McLean, I'm guessing. Either way, he's got some really, you know, great coverage stats. So, um, Sean Lee, folks, <laughs> not really too happy about him being a good coverage guy or Greg Hardy. Anybody on the Cowboys. I like my Justin Pugh, even though he's not that good. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, oh, Prince of Mukamara, speaking of Giants, I could, I could really use Giants players, man. Giants players go for a lot since they go into Captain DRC set, so I definitely get excited about them. Still getting excited about this guy, not so much Devonta Adams, but I had Devonta Adams in fantasy, man, so, I don't know, he better be getting some upgraded cards throughout the year, or else my ass is toast in fantasy, all right, because... He might, I mean, I got a couple good receivers, but that's another topic for another day. We got Doug Free and Bruce Irvin starting off this pack opening rate and Levante David. Levante David, speaking of outside linebackers with great coverage, Levante Davis might be, uh, might be, he definitely is one of the best coverage linebackers, all right, guys? Levante David is no joke, all right? He, I showed you guys briefly his stats. Look, let's go back at it again in case you missed it, all right? All right, I guess they don't show it on outside linebackers. But 95 play rec, that's the one thing I can obviously stand out. The other thing that stands out, ass block shedding. But, I mean, Levante David, you can move him to middle linebacker, and he'll still do work, you know? So, um, yeah, Levante David. Moving on, I think it's our last game. Yeah, there's the last game changer pack, but we still got the two stragglers to open. So, um, we still got some game changers left. We got Chris Culver in our packs. You know, just, just reversing it a little bit, like opening, oh, Lamar Miller. That's another guy I haven't fancy. I need Lamar Miller to come through, man. Um, Luke Wilson, I don't. Derrick Johnson, don't have him a fancy, but I'm definitely okay with pulling him. <laughs> Yo, oh, Tyron Smith. Like, it's not even any, it's like, we're not pulling a lot of, like, crazy pulls, but the amount of elites we have pulled in this pack opening is staggering. It's absolutely staggering as we get Zach Hurts. Like, that first pack was not too good. Ever since then, we've been cooking, man. We've been cooking. Zach Ertz. That's the dude that won the draft in fantasy, but didn't. Henry Melton, I guess he's on the Bucks now. Let's let's head to those straggler packs. There is no way we can't open those straggler packs with the way these packs have been so far for us. And we're, we're in Game Changer packs 70,000 coins last year. Which Jack has decided to make them 100,000 coins? Like, I already was you know, never going to buy a Game Changer pack for that much. Now I'm definitely not buying it for 100,000. You know, uh, we got one elite badge, but a lot of gold badges. Those gold badges definitely add up as we get ourselves a, um, I don't even know who that was. Either way, um, <laughs> Stragglers, I think, I think all the luck is actually in the bundle, man. It's just, it's just a sign. Like, he is like, buy the bundle, man. We'll hook you up. Unfortunately, we haven't pulled any of the football outsiders. That's our second Randy Gregory we pulled there. Like I said, um, if he's still going for at least 10,000 coins, I'm selling his ass off the bat. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to put Randy Gregory on my team. He's got some really good speed, though. I didn't show it. Randy Gregory, his, um, that rising star thing actually has some really good speed on him. So, you can use a Randy Gregory. Go ahead. I'm, I just don't like him. <laughs> so, oh, here's a, um, football outsider. Finally. I mean, our last pack and an 81 overall, but it's a football outsider. It's a 6'6 guy, 93 spec catch. That's interesting, man. It's interesting. They're already starting with making these tall 
t- um, what do you call, what's it, uh, offense, no, tight end, I don't know how I tripped right there, with some crazy stats like that, as we get Alex Boone, EJ Mayo, I thought we were going to get Tyrod Taylor, because Tyrod Taylor got a football outsider card, and I gave this dude a, like, a rounding, you know, little, you know, review, and all of a sudden, I keep on pulling him now, and then we get Travis Kelsey, which... I love, I love me some Travis Kelsey, man. So, that's the pack opening. Hope you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. This is a great pack opening, man. I love this pack opening. I wish all the packs were like this. Subscribe for more Madden 16 pack openings, gameplays, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time.